Do mousepads make a difference in gaming? The short answer is yes. Obviously it would have an impact because it would make your mouse feel smoother. Getting any mousepad like a 3 pack for $8 is far better than playing on wood or plastic. So it's basically a no brainer. But is it worth it to get a good mousepad compared to a cheap one? That's the real question. Mousepads aren't just to make it feel smoother while doing tasks on your PC. They're also to protect the mouse as well as the desk. They also could help with friction and gliding while playing games, as well as make it more accurate. Some surfaces don't work all together with mousepads like glass. So why are there brands like Artisan who make them from $50 to $150? And what impact does all of this have with gaming? The first difference is the size. The bigger the size, the more expensive it gets. So one of the more popular mouse pads, the Glorious Triple XL, costs $50, compared to its smaller and cheaper mouse pads, which cost $20. The quality and material are the same, but the sizing is the main factor to look at when buying a new mouse pad. The lower sense you have, the more room you need. And since most pro gamers use a low sense around 50 to 30 inches per 360, Getting a large or extra large mouse pad is what I recommend. I would rather do that instead of getting a quality mouse pad like the Artisan Hien because you won't be utilizing low sense with the quality. Mouse pads also help with your micro adjustments and flicks while gaming. If you get a faster mouse pad like the Hien instead of the Glorious mouse pad, tracking is easier. If you get a slower mouse pad, flicks would be easier. It all depends on your game and playstyle. If you play a lot of CS or Valorant, I would go for a slower pad, like the GSR, because that allows you to be more precise when holding angles. If you play Fortnite or Overwatch, go with a faster mouse pad. This will allow you to do a full turn easier, as well as look up and down easier. This would also correlate with a higher sense, an expensive mouse pad also improves durability. You might think that spending $50 on a mouse pad is a ripoff. After all, it's just a piece of cloth. But Artisan puts more attention to the stitches and the roughness of the cloth. For example, its zero mouse pad feels easier to stop because of its technique. Its stitching makes it harder for the cloth to fray. The Logitech QCK is one of the most popular mouse pads out there, but they just last less than a year. This is because the edges start to come apart. I would much rather have a mouse pad that can last upwards of 3 years instead of replacing my $7 QCK every year. It's tiring and costs more in the long run. Performance is also better with $50 mouse pads. The QCK fits everyone, but the Aqua Control Plus, for example, fits specifically gamers with slow sensitivities. This makes the mouse pad feel more consistent and makes it way easier to do those long range flicks and swipes. This is also fitting for the mouse and can make the mouse feel lighter. Some of the cheaper mouse pads feel like a swamp that kind of swallows up your mouse and makes it feel heavier. You don't want that. Especially in gaming, so in conclusion, getting a cheap mouse pad is leaps ahead of playing on wood or plastic. But I would still invest in a better mouse pad that will last longer, is bigger, and gives you more speed and control.